All right, so there is a bison right behind me, so I'm gonna go in and see if I can grab some photos. Obviously, with wildlife, you wanna keep your distance, so I'm gonna stay right behind the forerunner and see what I can grab. I was searching for an open door. I was looking for a peace of mind. It's a feeling that I tend to get. Won't rest until I make it right. All right, so for me, it's been about two weeks. Hung out in Boise just for a little bit to hang out with some friends. Now I'm back on the road. I'm just about an hour away from Twin Falls, Idaho. And the plan for today is to head towards the Grand Tetons and find some camp around the area. But these guys right here got a hell of a spot because the Tetons are over here. Um, and then there's another spot over here, but there's a tent propped up, so not looking good for tonight's campsites. All right, so my primary plan has failed. I wanted to wake up really early and try to secure a campsite and uh, looks like everything is all taken, um, which is kind of surprising because it's a Tuesday morning. But anyways, going to hang out at one of the viewpoints and then later on in the day, try to grab another campsite that's uh, down the road. Just left work and I will say I'm gonna be pretty mad if the camp spot that I found is uh, already taken. So outside the one that I went to this morning and this one, there is no other camping around the Grand Tetons National Park. So I would have to exit out of it and go towards uh, like Jackson or something. So I am driving up this really rocky road. And then um, to be honest with you, it's not looking so good so far. Three of the campsites down the road were taken. So honestly, the farther I go up and the rockier it gets, I would say the less likely there'd be people up here, but I've been surprised before. Well, I see a bunch of RVs, so. And then over here, a bunch more. So I know that can't be looking too good. There's a spot, there's a spot, there's a spot, and all around here, and then there's two or three more, and then there's me. And this is cool, because this one is actually leveled. I'm not leveled right now, but I can be. And you get the Tetons in the background, minus this little power line, but I'm sold on this one. So looks like sun is already setting too. So it makes sense to just stay here. My only worry is that if it starts to rain, which looks like it might, it will be a challenge because coming up here was a climb, so going down is just gonna be, it's gonna be all mud. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. This is gonna be camp for tonight, so I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully I wake up to catch sunrise. See, next morning, as you can tell, sunrise was uh, not so much of a sunrise. It's actually still pretty gloomy. There was a storm that rolled in last night. I saw a bunch of lightning, heard a bunch of thunder. What I think I'm gonna do today is start to make my way up to Yellowstone, cause then from Yellowstone, tour around all of that, then come back down. 
think I'll have a second chance of getting some sunrise shots and sunset shots um, down here once I head back. So yeah, just gonna slowly head my way back up and then I'll see you guys out there. It's so crazy on how much cloud has rolled in because right in front of me should be the mountain rangers of the Tetons. I am currently right here. And if I were to plan to make my way up to Yellowstone, I'm going to need to get gas. Looks like there's a handful of spots I can get gas. Here's service gas. Um, I may make my way all the way up to Sinclair. It's about hour 18. So let's do that. But while I'm there, I should probably find a place to work out of as well as um, a place to camp out. It's kind of cool too, because the uh, Tetons are actually popping out right now. If you guys ever come to uh, Grand Tetons, this is Oxbow Bend. It's a, kind of a small pullout area, but this whole road is basically a pullout area. Uh, but anyways, one of the more famous photo locations along the Grand Tetons. If you guys don't know, if you guys have never been to Grand Tetons, a lot of the attraction to do here are mainly viewpoints. Here's the plan. I am going to head to a gas station within Yellowstone National Park. Um, I'm just gonna wing it and just try to find camp. From what I'm seeing online, all the campsites are full because I've been to Yellowstone National Park. Actually, I've been to multiple national parks where I stayed at a campsite where they said it's full and they said that they have spots available. So I'm really banking on that. But yeah, I'm gonna really try my luck and head into the uh, park. So I'll see you at the gas station. It's pretty obvious that it is uh, not sunny outside. I think two or three of the campsites within Yellowstone is just closed for a season and then the rest is um, full. All right, seeing how I don't have any internet, I just uh, propped up the Starlink on the dash. It actually works really well doing this, but I'm on iOverlander right now. I'm not too far away from the west entrance, and I'm wondering if I should just go here and stay there for somewhere around the area for the night. Um, no dispersed camping for today, but I did find a camp spot, kind of not really next to a soccer field out just outside of the national park. So gonna most likely there's a camper van right here. Um, most likely gonna stay here for the night and just leave super early tomorrow morning. And um, sometimes that's just how it is. You gotta find some street parking. Um, and I kind of built out my forerunner to do this is because I'm not always going to be in the middle of the forest. Sometimes I am uh, stealth camping kind of like this. And um, tonight, I am a camper fan. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm gonna head straight into the park and go to Artist Point. And within the past couple days, the weather's actually been pretty bad. Been raining all week since I've got here, so Grand Tetons and Yellowstone. Hey. Yellowstone. Do you already have a map guy? I do. All right, have a good day. You too, thank you. All right, so the plan for today is to attempt to get some sort of wildlife photos or just in general, just to see some more wildlife. I'm in a place called Hayden Valley. So if you guys ever come to Yellowstone, Hayden Valley is probably the best place to view um, any wildlife. Technically, you can see it anywhere within the national park or just in the area of Yellowstone. But Hayden Valley is a very common place to see like ox, musk or like bisons or anything. But anyways, I'm going to hang out here all day just to see if I can um, find some wildlife. All right, so there is a bison right behind me, so I'm gonna go in and see if I can grab some photos. Obviously, with wildlife, you wanna keep your distance, so I'm gonna stay right behind the forerunner, see what I can grab. Okay, so there's like 20 cars right behind me, and usually when that happens, it's because there's something outside. Um, I go and turn around and it looks like there's a giant elk outside. So I'm gonna go and see 
what I can grab. I got the um, telephoto lens going, so let me see what I can get. I've never actually seen an elk before. That was my first time, which was super cool. I'm glad I got to uh, see one in person for the first time as well as photograph it. I wish I had a 600 mil to get a such a closer view of it but nonetheless it was super cool i uh think i'm gonna head out of yellowstone now and i think i'm gonna make my way towards jackson so on my way back i'm gonna pass the tetons again all of a sudden it just became a blizzard so that's cool just um got up from doing some just car camping out here in jackson it's super sunny today, um, surprisingly, because the weather app lied to me. Um, it said it was gonna rain all weekend. Then I'm gonna head back into the Tetons to see if I can grab some photos real quick and then uh, go from there. I do want to be relatively close or at least on the way to Utah by the end of the weekend. So I'm gonna slowly make my way down afterwards. I'm finally getting the sunset that I've been chasing for. So going to head back to a place called Drawbacker's Landing. I was over here a couple days ago, but it was a storm then and uh, now it's sunset. So I'm gonna hang out here and see what I can grab for photos. So I finally got this sunset shot. It only took four days for me to get it, but um, finally got it. And what sucks is because I gotta head back down to Utah by the end of probably next week. So I kinda wanna make my way down. But anyways, I'm probably gonna end the video here and then I'll start back up in the next video of wherever I find camp. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, all right, take care guys.